How's it going everybody? It is Colas Alice here. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we are taking yet another look at Chen. Panda is love, Panda is life. Chen just become, has become kind of like a tradition for us. Uh, he's he's part of the, the stream. Uh, he's actually our currency system. Or, well, not him. Him, Chen. It's Panda's. You befriend Panda instead of you know instead of like earning coins or earning uh, points or in, or maybe earning beers or something. You befriend Pandas, and then, then you can spend you know the Pandas to I don't know to request songs or to enter to enter raffles and stuff like that. So, as you guys see, he became quite a big influence on my channel. Um, and even though I stopped maining him, I still play him from time to time, and I still enjoy his playstyle. Uh, as you guys know from my previous video, he was hit with the rework hammer. Like they said, green light on the on the rework, and there you go. His talents. I don't think none of his basic abilities were changed at all. Even the numbers it was mostly his like basic core, like health, and most of his talents were reworked or somehow changed to make them more interesting than their predecessors which were really basic like region master turned into the freshest ingredients and stuff like that so he's very interesting now and today we will be taking a look at his donkey kong build um the the build that came around after his first nerf uh his his win rate went went really down it went down to 49 percent but then people kind of gradually and slowly brought it back up to 51 and he's back up to being one of the kings of bruisers slash warriors so let's take a look at the donkey kong build and hopefully we're gonna get we are going to get a good game this time i bring pandemonium well, all right boys and girls we find ourselves on the garden of terror map again play this map so much in the latest like a week or two well, since the the old maps came back to the rotation anyway on level one we're gonna go for lucid brawler just because the enemy team has samuro and tracer what also brawler will allow you to do is to evade all basic enemy attacks for two seconds and its cooldown is 20 seconds and also you can reduce its cooldown by three seconds every time you basic attack that was that's that's just a lot of seconds right there a lot of seconds and his Q ability is his Q ability is flying kick. Uh, when you target somebody who's in your range, you you will kind of jump off the ground, hit him in the face, and then fly to the other side of that target. Our W ability is called kick smash. It's go. It is what is. It is what we're going to be focusing on today. It's going. It's, it is called the Donkey Kong build. Kick smash. When you when you soak when you basically hit somebody with that skill shot. You soak them in the brew like that, like that. Uh, if they, if they're hit by it, uh, they're going to be taking a little bit of damage. They'll be slowed by 25%, I believe. Yes, 25% for three seconds, and they will also be soaked in brew. What will soakage and brew also do for you? It is also going to allow you to light them up with your breath of fire, which is their E ability. It does a little bit of initial damage, but then afterwards. Um, it also applies a DOT to the enemies if they're soaked and brew. Like, so you, you, you see that they're, they're actually burning up. They're burning up! His trait is called Fortifying Brew. We are able to, st to stand still and drink up, generating shields and also regenerating our source, which is called Brew. And yeah, I guess, I guess Samuro, our Lost Brawl is just going to be really good. Really, really strong. Yeah, also that the shields will persist for a very short amount of time afterwards. Um, I'm gonna stay in the lane for just a little bit more, just to kind of soften up this lane a little bit more. It's just so, you know, our, our, minion, our minions keep, can push in very nicely. Uh, so I'm gonna rotate to the objective now, and we should be able to pick up some of those seeds for ourselves. Samuro's here. Honestly, we will be able to stack very, very nicely against the Samuro. Okay, now Tracer's here. Now we can just get a bail. 
and we, we can use our flying kick to get out of there. So you saw there, I popped off my elusive brawler and I was able to basically dodge every single basic attack that was coming our way. Very, very good ability. It's very similar to how evasion works with Elodin. Uh, it's just, I think it's a little bit... We're gonna go for tech, uh, not tech, but keg toss. Uh, what it's going to do, it is going to, it's going to be a questing talent. Every time we hit somebody with our, with our keg smash, we're going to be in increasing its damage. We need to focus on the morale, by the way. Like, if you guys didn't know, now you know. There we go. Uh, yeah, so every every time we hit somebody with our W, like that, uh, we will be soaking them in brew and also increasing his damage with that uh, Kek Toss talent. Uh, once we get to 30, uh, sorry, not 20 hits, and once we get to 20 globes, baby, watch out because somewhere is here. Uh, we will be also increasing the, the throw range, as you can see now, it's actually very, very small, by 125%, which is just huge, the, the range is just going to become nuts, you will be able to spam this for from such a long range, it's just, it's some it's it's funny sometimes. And also, you'll be getting a second charge of your, of your, of your keg smash, which is pretty damn awesome if you ask me, pretty damn awesome. I'm going to rotate down bottom to try to interrupt the enemy team from getting a free objective down up here. Looks like... Uh, Arvala is in a little, a little bit of a bad position. I'm gonna actually jump in here, try to soak some people in the brew, but I, w I actually did miss, so that wasn't too too good. Hello. Hey, watch out for Tracer, watch out for Tracer. Come back, Tracer. Come back. Nice, nice. Oh shit. I'm fine. I've, I've got the elusive brawler. And then uh, with, I will be able to close the gap with my Q, and then just, just, just keep harassing them with the slow and the constant damage, uh, constant sustaining damage from um, from my burn. Just crazy, crazy good. It looks like we will be able to gain most of the seeds in this night phase, which is just really good, obviously, for the early game. God damn, I'll be rooted. I, I always uh, laugh at my girlfriend who who's really bad at uh, at you know at dodging those, but <laughs> this time I was the one who didn't dodge it. So baby, I feel you. I feel you. Right. So on this level range, we're gonna be picking up Brewmaster's Balance. Uh, basically, it it all revolves around the the status, the the level of my brew. Right, so how is it going to work? If you're above 50 brew, uh, you will be uh, activating additional health regeneration per second. I think it's like 18 or something. Uh, let me see here. It is 25, which is obviously just a super strong, like almost a full regeneration master. Like, like if regeneration master gives you an additional maximum 30 uh, additional health uh, regeneration per second, which you know, which is just 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 crazy. How good? Uh, um, what's it called again? Brewmaster's Balance, there we go, how good that is. And if you're below 50 Brew, you'll be getting an additional movement speed. So you can see now we're moving actually 20% faster, which is almost as fast as the, as the mount speed. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to stay here uh, because I want to generate more XP for my friendly team. Let's, let's brew up, brew up, uh, apply some damage to those towers and buck our ass up over there. What's very, very important to uh, to note uh, when you're using Brewmaster's Balance is that your W and your E, that combo you know, of soaking and then actually fire, uh, actually firing somebody up with your with your Breath of Fire, takes an exactly 50 amount of brew away from you. So it's gonna give you exactly both benefits. It's gonna give you the, bo the regeneration and the movement speed, which is obviously you know, very, very important to remember, right? Yeah, you want to keep those as fast as much as possible. I'm gonna rotate out, rotate up to the middle lane to clean that camp, which is just raining havoc on our towers right now. And if I'm not mistaken, this Zul is a little bit out of position. Yeah, come on, Trace. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Zul, no, go down. You're you're not fine. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Gzul. Not Gzul, but go down. Just get out of there. Let me stack on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me stack on you. Why don't you just let me stack on you? Uh, I'm gonna go for a Storm, Earth, and Fire, which allows us to split into three uh, little spirits, uh, which have, I think, 75% of my maximum health. 
and they allow me to kind of activate three different uh, three, three different abilities while I'm in that form. Again, I'll be able to stack up a little bit on that. Oh my god, cool down for going for that reign of destruction, is that what it's called? Um, yes, yeah, so I'll be able to split into three different uh, um, spirits, uh, the storm, earth and fire, uh, which all of them give me uh, different abilities. They give me movement speed, attack speed and an ability to jump to a target. I'm on my way to this camp because my girlfriend just just uh, signaled that she, she wants to do that camp. So why not help her do it? Uh, Chen one of the better tankers for uh, for camps, but obviously he's not he's not going to be doing you know the most damage in the world. Therefore he's not going to be the best at clearing them. Uh, so not the best you know not the best solo jungler, but definitely good for for tanking anything like towers, like mercenaries, anything like that. Uh, actually a legit, a legit strat is just standing under a tower, soaking all the shots for your friendly team while they are um, they're actually destroying the towers themselves and getting some XP, you know, towards towards that friendlies. Um, in that sense, he kind of works like Savannah, right? Because she disables towers. He doesn't disable them, but he takes their damage. So uh, it's very, very similar to how, how Savannah uh, treats, you know, actually, um, how she treats um, getting towers. I'm actually going to jump onto the medic here. Uh, I won't be able to fire him up because I didn't have enough, um, uh, enough brew to actually use my Breath of Fire. But what I was able to do is just stack up a little bit on the um, on the clones of Samuro. But if Samuro is not going to be as good anymore, uh, I don't know why we're fighting here. We should be just getting to the top objective. What is Vala doing? What? It was worth because we killed Samuro, right? Like this, this, that's always worth. I think that tracer used it a little bit too early. I can't chase her after I use my Q. Oh baby, uh, can we just do this? Can we just do this, please? Right, and we are actually on. We are on, we are up to level thirteen almost. Okay, we killed uh, we killed Tracer, and she didn't actually deal that much damage to our uh, Zagara. Ziggy is exact Zagara, which obviously a good trade for us. Level thirteen, level thirteen. We're gonna go for Touch or Honey. There we go. What you doing up here, man? Okay, uh, they killed. I'll be fine. I've got my W to jump away. I've got my Q to increase my movement speed, and I have my E to increase my attack speed, if I need it at least. So I'm, I'm just gonna try to deal some damage with those uh, spirits. Yeah, you actually have to be very careful with those because if they die, you will be dying as well as Chen. Which obviously not 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 good idea. So we finished our quest. You can see this uh, this range just increased immensely. We are able to throw out our kick, uh, our kick smash, just you know at very very long ranges. It kind of messes up with our brew management, but oh, 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 honestly, like I can't really you know I can't really can't really say really uh, bad things about that ability just because uh, it's just like. I can't really argue, right? You know, you're able to slow enemies on such a distance, kind of you know keep uh, keep close to them, uh, keep them slowed, keep them CC'd, and uh, it's just it's just all goodness, all goodness in my books, brother. Uh, so we're gonna try to harass this channel, but of course we won't be able to do too much damage to him. But mostly I want to close the gap on these guys. Oh god damn! Where are you going, Chen? Okay, he actually he actually did. Let's go somewhere. Uh, let's let's actually stack up fully on our brew. Uh, he he's just healing very rapidly from from that healing. I can be very very annoying with uh, with my. Um, with that little poke damage that I have. Back 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 away. So we gonna okay. So we did we didn't lose our Zagara. Uh, we only lose our Wuldan, which is which is okay. I mean, we didn't want to lose anybody, but 
And honestly, like, Chen becomes just a really annoying uh, force to be reckoned with. Uh, he's able to um, reveal uh, hidden targets because you know because he can throw his cactus at a very very long range. Uh, Tracer falls at the bottom lane to my girlfriend, I believe, and just he just becomes goodness. Uh, we can go for another round, another round, really good, uh, very good. Uh, what it does, it whenever I hit somebody, uh, it, whenever I hit uh, I think an enemy hero with my uh, Keck smash. After hitting an enemy hero with Keck Smash, the cooldown of your next basic ability, so in most cases it's going to be your E, uh, will be your, this Vala just overextending. He's going to be... There we go, he got punished. He got punished for overextending. Arzagar is actually in a little bit of trouble here, and she might be taken out. No, Chen, before he can actually jump into the keg, he will be taken out of the fight um, by our friendly team. By the friendly focus, we are actually, we're doing this. Can okay, just do this or something? Like, just stop wasting our time or something? Like, that would be good. Our Vala is ballsy, and I don't like it. Like, whenever you guys hear me say, like, somebody's ballsy, I usually say, and I like it, but I don't like it just because she's going way too far in. And we don't have a, a good enough healer. I mean, Tyrande is not, not, not a good enough um, solo healer to, to sustain somebody overextending like that. Maybe just, let's, let's do the objective first. Oh god. Oh god. Actually, Strafe is not bad for against Tracer. Let me kill the... Tr the... Uh, now Samuro is somewhere up here. Okay, he's right here. I'm <laughs> honestly I'm just stunning here. Like I'm not even taking that much damage, and I can just keep him slow, especially with with, with my touch of honey. I will be able to to secure a kill, I believe. Oh my goodness, this goddamn bone prison. Guess he's Shikuchi. Be fine. Nope. Later, fuckers. Can't drink during that, but um, what I'll be able to do definitely is just try to clear this wave before I come back into life. Just get some of that more regeneration with them as well, mate. Um, the enemy team will be taking this uh, this top objective, but honestly. We don't really care at the moment. We don't really care. They don't, they don't have a terror right at this second. Hi. Hi. All right. All right. Okay. Let's stop dying. Let's start winning. I I suggest that. I believe that's actually a good a good good thing to do. Um, Arvala a little bit low on health, but she hopefully will be able to help us with that. The enemy team rotating up from the top. Uh, let's actually just engage into here. I'll be kind of se separated from our friendly team. I'm going to try to jump to whoever is closest to me. But it looks like they just want to focus me right now. And I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Ooh. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. Ugh. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so low right now. I just, I just survived because of elusive brawler. Like that's how overpowered this 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 talent is. Like it's, it's crazy. It allows you to live through so much punishment, especially from Samuro or somebody like Tracer. Ugh, it's just so disgusting against those those, uh, those characters. Anyway, while that is happening, some of us should be going for for the seeds down in the bottom objective. It's not going to be me, just because I'm the only, I'm the sole tank of this team. But, but, um, I think Zagar, Ziggy Zigzag Zagar should be doing that uh, while she's overextending right into the terror. That was Simura. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to protect our Zagar from that Simura. Where is that terror going? I don't know where is it going. 
mean, I don't see any reason. Maybe just go back. Don't chase him. Like, if he wants to go into their objective, it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go down to the to the bottom objective. Hello. I'm just gonna jump onto Morales and I'll be fine. I can just drink up, body blocker while, while I'm doing that, and <laughs> we just took out their healer. Just like that. Just like it was nobody business. I'm gonna go for Storm Stout Secret Recipe. That's fine. You're still trying to do something to me, Chen? Like, seriously? You still haven't learned? Still haven't learned a single thing? Let's go into our ultimate form just to deal a little bit of not a little bit of bizna here. Uh, we're gonna increase our move, our movement speed and our attack speed to kind of chase a little bit better into the enemy team. We will be able to do to just lay some more punishment onto the enemy um, tracer, but she is going to be fine at the end, kind of backing up there. Can I just keep applying CC? Why not? Why not throw those kegs like across the, the entire screen? Why not let them fly? I can do that now. I can do that after after completing my quest. Uh, our Vala going ballsy again. Like she's going just way too hard into us. Very nice. Um, very nice. Very nice. Oh, uh. and I can just stand here and just soak damage for our friendly team while we just destroy this fort. Like like it's nobody's business. And now we should just back up here. Why can I jump? I'm gonna use all my abilities to just give myself movement speed, and looks like two of our friendlies are going to be taken out by the enemy team here. Um, not a good, in not a good engage for us. I think staying there was fine. It's just we didn't, we didn't follow up in, in any way. Oh, Vala is going ballsy again. Okay, she has a recall. She has a recall. But then there's Samura as well. Why are you? Fo okay, 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 brother. Okay. Okay, you got me. It is just enough for me to. Ah! Oh, I was going to my ultimate form. I, I was sure I was fine. I was sure I was fine. I tried so hard, but it didn't work at the end. Uh, did, did we explain all of our abilities? We didn't. Uh, right. So on thirteen, we we went for touch of honey. What it does. Um, it gives me an increased slow on my W, right? Just kind of synergizing with the rest of the talents, especially with the keg toss. And then on uh, 16, went for another round. Again, I, I think I've already explained it. Uh, when I hit a hero with my W, my next used ability will be... Uh, its cooldown is going to be reduced by 3 seconds. Obviously, very, very good. And then on level 21 for Storm Stout Recipe. When, when I hit somebody with my with my, any of my abilities, just a, a hero, I'll be just passively healing 1.5% of my health. Obviously, with the range of my W and two, uh, you know, two charges of it, I'm able to throw so much of it. And it, for example, if I hit two heroes uh, you know, at the time, that's 6% out of basically just, you know, just basically, just throwing out two of my just basic, you know, uh, basic skill shots, right? It's really strong. It's really strong, As, especially strong against Samuro, where where the the illusions are going to be just clumping up. As I got a little bit of a bad spot up in the top lane, we should definitely try to rejoin with her before she does get ganked. It looks like no. It looks like the, the enemy team just kind of is here. Where are you popping right now? Where are you going, medic? Where are you going again? It's just funny. It's just funny how we can play with certain characters which do not have escapes. Um, uh, that is going to be an applied slow. Oh, it's going to be dead because that was a lot of damage from our, uh, from both of our keg smash into the 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 fire up, but also from the rest of the friendly team. Maybe go and help him. Go and help him if they need it. So I'm actually way better at doing camps now, just that, that I uh, finished the quest. I, I'm able to uh, throw out my uh, my keg smash twice. But I'm not. I'm still not that good at... Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? This is not good. 
This is not good. I have to leave the camp. Alright, enemy chain is down. So that's actually quite a lot of the, of the, of the enemies are, which are down right now. She's ballsy, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Let's get it, let's get it. Jeff for Tracer? She's, she, she just gets demolished anytime she goes in right now because I do have all of my all of my talents actually. I'm just gonna go in on her. She can't do anything. I'm just gonna go into my ultimate form and they can't do nothing again. Yeah, what up Tracer? What up Tracer? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Ooh, he's gonna be, yes, Samuro is gonna be taken out. He's actually killable now, which is which is a good thing, right? It's a good thing. It's always a good thing. We can actually finish, finish the game, I think. Actually, Chen is gonna be spawning very, very soon, so we definitely have to be careful of the enemy team kind of disruption here. A very nice model is gonna catch Xu, but Xu only. Gonna be a lot of damage coming out on me. I'll be popping my elusive brawler a little bit early here, early here, trying to deal my damage to the enemy medic. It's gonna be game. It's gonna be way too late for the for the enemy team to respond to our great great push. And again, I just took a little bit of that you know of that attention from the enemy team from our friendly team or well, enemy team uh, from our friendly team, and I just allowed our friendly team to finish the game and close it out. Really good, baby. Really good. You can get my vote. Nobody likes the the good old panda. Nobody likes the panda. I think I've only died once, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe twice. Let's see. Once. It was good. I liked it a lot. It was it was really, really good. Vala did a lot of damage, but she only did it just because the enemy team had, had they had no cooperation. They could not um, capitalize on her overextension. Hopefully that was a, a good enough explanation of the of the character. I feel like I feel like I had I had plenty of fun. Anyway, level 1 against auto attack heroes, you want to go elusive brawler. Against ability damage heroes, you want to go grounding brew. But in all other situations where it's like very mixed or you're not really sure what to pick up, what's going to get the most value, I would probably go for the freshest ingredients or actually just go for elusive brawler. Um, freshest ingredients, kind of a reworked regeneration master also granting you 50% of the shields from fortifying brew persist indefinitely after drinking, which obviously is really strong. Um, but you still have to finish it first. You still have, it's still uh, roaming for those 30 groves, which might take a little while, and you might be, I don't know, missing from an ob objective way to do that. So uh, it's it's important to to notice, to, to, you know, to note that. Plus, uh, plus you know, Elsa Brawler and just Grounding Brew just kind of like give you a straight up reduction. This used to be 25% reduction, now it's 30% reduction. I think they buffed it in the in the latest patch. They decided to not nerf elusive, excuse me, not an elusive brawler. They just uh, decided to kind of buff all the other ones. On level 4 we went for Kektas. By the way, this is again the, again, the Donkey Kong build. We are throwing out our kegs. We are constantly applying the CC. We are constantly, it's not hard CC, it's just kind of soft CC with the slows. But still, it's very, very annoying to the enemy. After hitting 20 heroes with your keg smash, you increase its damage up to 60, and then after hitting, after you actually do hit 20 heroes, you will be increase, increasing its its range, its, its effective range, and also gaining an additional charge of it. Just kind of very strongly starting off the build. Uh, Blue Master's balance is honestly, I think it's still the best. Boulder flavor is very interesting because it gives you some some shields straight away, which I think will be good against the Tracer, like, you know, she kind of kept attaching the bomb to me, it was doing the damage, but if, for example, I saw the bomb and I just clicked my D, that will just straight away give me a little bit of shields, which honestly, I don't really hate, okay? And it also gives you an extra second on those shields. Not a lot, but of, of course, it can help you in certain situations, but the Brewmaster's Balance is overall, I think, the better talent. Especially at the bigger map. So for smaller maps, I'll go for Boulder Flavor. The fast maps, like the the Warhead Junction, like the 
uh, Bruxis holdout. But on like bigger maps, like the one that we just played, Garden of Terror, Cursed Hollow, like this, the, the slower ones, I'll probably go for Brewmaster's Balance, where you're just kind of traveling between lanes and actually takes you time where you can actually regenerate a little bit. 10, it's really up to you, but we, we went for Storm, Earth, and Fire. Um, this kind of splits you into three different, uh, again, Spirits, the Storm, Earth, and Fire. Each one of them has different abilities, can grant you Spirit, Movement, Speed, that's Storm. It can leap to an area and slow enemies, that's Earth, and Fire can grant your Spirit attack speed. You, you gain those on Q, W, and E. Very, 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 very useful, very, very good for, for survivability. Granted, you're not going to get stunned on, or silenced out of it, also displaced out of it. On level 13, we went for Tachahani, kind of just kind of continuing on with the overall synergy of Kek Smash talents. Uh, just, just increasing our slow from our Kek Smash to 40% instead of 25. At 16, we went for another round. What what it does, it's when you hit somebody with your W, with your Kek Smash, your next used basic ability cooldown is going to be reduced by 3 seconds. Obviously very good for letting your E keep up with your W, right? Because you already have two charges and your E is mostly what you will be uh, what you will be waiting for when doing your W to E combo. So when you W into E with another round, you will basically have it already constantly for the second charge and, and again and again and again, which obviously is pretty damn strong. And then level 20, I did go for for the Storm Stout recipe, but if you do not need the additional healing, if you have like a very good healer, like a Malfurion, like a, a Morales, like a Oreo, or something like that, you can go for Elemental Conduit, which increases the health of the uh, of the element of the elements of the spirits, and also uh, kind of empowers their abilities. Now the Storm can g give you Unstoppable. Kind of similar to how Vikings have their Z, I believe. Actually, no, it's one of their abilities. They can pick it up. On, yeah, it's one of their abilities. Um, Earth's leap cooldown is reduced by three seconds, which obviously is just really, really nice. Applying some more CCs and more slows, and grants and uh, your fire now will just passively grant attack speed, which you can activate to grant even more attack speed. Obviously, super strong, super super strong. Um. We went again for Storm Style Recipe. There are three very viable builds in this, uh, not builds, but talents in this eleven on in this level tier. Um, so one is the, of course the elemental, elemental conduit. If you have a, a healer that you can rely on, Storm Style Recipe is another one. Uh, again, just kind of healing you, especially with this build, is really good, just because you can keep throwing out your, your Ws and hitting heroes and healing for one point five percent when you hit somebody, right? It just gives you a lot of survivability, a lot of, uh, you know, just a lot, it just makes you such a disruption tank, it's crazy. If you hit your, your combo into three people, that's, let's see, 7.5%, no, 3.5, 4.5, two abilities, that's 10, not 10, that's 9% of your health back. But then, you know, also going back to your, your second charge, so that's like 18% in like, let's say, 3 seconds. That's just crazy. It's crazy how much you're, ab you're able to heal. Also, your Q will be able to heal enemy uh, you, so it's just crazy. But you also have Purifying Brew. If, if the enemy team has a lot of stuns, a lot of silences, the next stun or silence used against you has its duration reduced by 75% and reaches the cooldown of your Fortifying Brew. Can only trigger every 10 seconds. So again... When you get hit by a stun, you'll get your brew while you're, while you're drinking. It is going to be basically reduced to seven, uh, by seven, like its duration is going to be really reduced a lot, by heavily, like a lot. And then also your fortifying brew will be just refreshed instantly instead of you are, you're having to wait five seconds to drink again, right? From the moment which you started to drink. Let's say that you just went into drink, you got stunned. You basically have it up again instead of having to wait. Right, so just obviously very good for stun lock comps and everything like that. Just because, uh, let's say they use all of your stuns on you, you're able to just drink up again immediately, which is obviously very good. It's, it gives you all the survivability, and honestly, I, there's a lot of times where I contemplate what I you know, like. Should I go for Storm Tower? Should I either go for, for Storm Tower Secret Recipe or Purifying Brew? It's all really up to you. Thank you guys for watching. I talk too much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.